so our approach to uh, the Baltic hybrid jacket was to work was to create a garment which would fit comfortably over body armor underneath other layers and which targeted um, the warmth and insulation paneling on the jacket to the areas where you needed to st where you need to stay warm essentially body mapping um, the insulation on onto your core areas The brief for the Baltic hybrid jacket was to create a garment which was a lightweight mid-layer uh, piece that can fit in with the layering system that we've created, uh, something which is comfortable on the bike but is also comfortable off the bike. The challenges would be, uh, uh, well, we, we, we spent quite a bit of time looking into uh, the science behind where humans produce heat. Uh, which areas of the torso give off the most heat and which areas need more insulation. Um, so that was that was kind of the, I guess, the key um, challenge, if you like, for, for, for creating this jacket. Um, and that's what pushed us towards the design lines that we have on the jacket now. It's uh, very much form follows function. So on the insulative areas, we're using tightly woven nylon fabric, which is um, fibre proof so that the insulation doesn't leak out um, um, but it's also highly breathable um, and it's got a degree of wind resistance as well to it uh, and the other areas of the jacket we're using a, f uh, a smooth faced fleece fabric so it has a fleece backer on the inside but it's, it's all it's all knitted as one fabric it's not got a membrane inside um, but it does have a high degree of stretch which means it's very very comfortable to wear and stretches and fits over body armour very easily gives you a lot of a lot of freedom of movement um, with this jacket as well. So the jacket has um, insulative panels uh, across the front of the shoulders, the top of the shoulders and the front of the shoulders. Um, it has uh, insulation down the front of the body and also across the kidneys at the, on the back of the, the jacket. Uh, the rest of the material is this fleece fabric which is uh, more breathable than the woven fabric and so it allows you to shed heat from areas which tend to have, um, tend to, from, from the areas of the body that tend to put out more heat. We have a chest pocket on the front of the jacket and we also have two concealed hand warmer pockets uh, down the sides of the jacket as well. Um, a hem draw cords is, um, complete the, the picture and sort of try to keep out a bit of drafts and, and such like as well. So they're going to notice, uh, I think, the, the, the lightweight nature of the jacket, but also the, the amount of stretch that the fabrics have. Um, I know uh, when we've been trying the jacket on and uh, asking people's feedback and opinions on it, um, people are trying on, if they would normally wear a large size jacket, they would try that on, put the body armor on, on underneath, and they're able to still wear a large size jacket because the fabric has so much stretch in it and that it accommodates the additional additional thicknesses of the, the body armour and, and such like. The other thing about the, the jacket is it's the kind of piece that you can wear when you're sleeping in your sleeping bag. You can wear it when you get up in the morning for breakfast, wear it when you start riding during, uh, start riding in the morning when it's cold, when it tends to be colder. Um, when it gets warmer, when, it, when the day heats up, you can then take the jacket off, put it back on again in the evening, um, wear it around the campfire, sleep in it. And it's a, it's a great all-round piece, um, just helps keep the weather off, uh, off you.